Okay, Claire, so for this first phase, I'd like you to regard me as a partly trained pupil. Yeah. And I'd like you to give me some instruction on the turn in the road. Okay. So just assume that um, I normally have lessons with John. He's another instructor from your driving school, but he can't make it today because he's away on holiday. Okay. All right, so you're taking over for this lesson. I'm familiar with the, the car and its layout because you've got the same car that John had. All right, okay. so any questions before we go into roll? Um, no, so it's a turn in the road exercise. Turn in the road, yeah. All right, okay. so yep. over to you when you're ready. Hi, Jed. Hi, yeah, you all right? Yes, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm all right, yeah. Good. Yeah, great, thanks. Um, um, my name's Claire. I'm, I've come today because John can't make it. Right, OK. Um, but the officer sent me because I've got the same car as him, so you're familiar with it. Yeah. And I spoke to John, and he said that on today's lesson you were due to, to learn the turn in the road exercise. Is that correct? Yeah, he said we were doing that, yeah. OK. Just so that I know where you're up to with your driving, what have you been doing on your last couple of lessons? Um, just driving really, just doing junctions and okay. um, did a couple of mini roundabouts last week. Okay, so. good. So when you've been doing your junctions, your T-junctions, have yeah. you used the peep and creep Yeah, technique? like when you can't see, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and how do you keep the car slow when you use that peep and creep? You just have to be gentle with the pedals, don't you? Just like yeah. a bit of clutch and bit of a clutch. little bit of gas maybe. Depends if it's on a hill or anything, doesn't it, really? Okay, then, so how specifically do you use your clutch, then? Where does the clutch, where do you put the clutch, and how do you move it forward, and how do you slow it down? Um, you bring the clutch to the biting point, and then up a little bit more. He says, like, a pound, thickness of a pound coin, yeah, and then excellent. it goes forward, and then you push it down. Use the brake to stop. Okay. So. We want to use the brake when the clutch is down, though. We don't want yeah. to use it against the bike. Right, yeah. Because yeah, the brake wants it to stop, the clutch wants it, the bike wants it to go. Yeah. So we want to avoid using them together. Okay. Um... Okay, and have you done any reversing? Um, we did a little bit, probably about three weeks ago. It was just, it was only for about five minutes, just in a straight line. So. Okay, and how did you find that? Um, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I think Where I did you look? It. Where did you look when you were reversing? Um, you had to look out the back window as we were going back. Okay, why do you think that was? Because he said that's where the car's going. So, like when you drive forward, you look forward, and when you go back, you look back. So. Okay, and when you move away from stationary, what observations do you do? Um, all round, okay. like blind spots and, and mirrors why, and that. Why do we do that? To see if there's anyone around, like coming past or on the pavements or whatever. Okay, that, that's great. So, for the turning the road exercise, we're going to use some of those skills that you're already familiar with. All right, we're okay. going to need good all round observations to make sure it's safe. Right. We're going to need that tight clutch control, so we've got really good control while we're doing the manoeuvre, and we need to reverse, be able to reverse as well. Right, okay. So what we'll do is, we're going to drive somewhere suitable, and right. watch you driving on the way and correct any faults that might occur. Okay. And once we get there, I'm going to explain how to do the turning the road using my book. Right. And then we'll have a go at it. Okay. And by the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to turn the car around to face opposite direction, Okay. Using forward and reverse gears under control with effective observations. Right, Not only okay. that, though, you'll be able to select somewhere safe and suitable to, to carry out this manoeuvre as well, right. which is just as important. Yeah, okay. Okay, any questions before? Um, we move? No, no, sounds okay. good. So, would you like to get yeah. the cockpit drill then? Um, ready yeah. to move away? Is your door shut? Well, how would you tell that my door shut if I weren't sat here? Um, the light comes on, doesn't it? Yeah. Or you can look in the mirror actually. Yeah. yeah. So does it look shut? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Um that's alright. Back window, so I can frame the back window. Okay. Um, without like moving my head, and then the side ones, you need to be able to see. Well, it's quite hard to make it's a car park, but just like the door handles on the side, you know, the edge of the car, and then it should shouldn't be pointing up or down. It should be sort of halfway. Right. Okay. You know, halfway between sky and ground. Just need to move that one out a little bit. So are ready to go? Yep. So what we're going to do then is we're going to leave the car park. Okay. So we said about observations before, why is it important to do the observations, especially in, in this car park, what we're looking for? Um, pedestrians and cars pulling out and dogs and stuff. It's, 
Okay, so we'll make sure we do that. Lots of dogs running around, didn't they? Yeah, so we'll make sure we do that before we start then. So okay. if you'd like to start up. Drive on when you're ready. The exit's to the right. Okay. So before you move away, is it safe to? Yeah. What about this gentleman over to the right? Has he got any children or dogs with him? Oh, right. Uh, He's talking to something, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, I think it's his dog. So just keep an eye on it. He might not have got a chance to get it on the lead yet. Right. And a little child as well. Yeah. You use your right mirror there as well. Oh, when sorry. Moved out. Yeah. Why is it important to check that right mirror from moving out slightly? Because there could have been something going past. Okay, and if there was something going past, how would you have dealt with that? Um. I'd have probably had to wait until they've done actually. Yeah. You know, just held back. Good. So as we come up to this obstruction on the left, what mirrors are you going to check before you move out? Safe to run okay, and is it safe to move out? Yeah. Okay, good. As we're driving along as well, we'll have a look at roads and decide whether it's going to be a suitable road okay. to carry out this manoeuvre. Ask me to take the second road on the right. Okay, I want you to take the second road on the right, Jed. Second this one road. being your first. Okay. So as we turn into this road, we'll assess whether this would be a suitable road okay. for turning the road exercise. Right Just a little bit harsh with our clutch there. Yeah, Did you feel sorry. it surge forward again? A little, yeah. Okay, so next time when we come to uh, move off, if we just bring the clutch a fraction above the bike until the car starts moving, then we'll gently bring it up the rest of the way. That will right. smooth it out. We'll try it out next time we come to a stop. Okay. So looking at this road, do you think this road would be suitable for turning the road? Mm, no, not really. It's and a bit bendy, that? isn't it? It's a bit wet yeah. bendy. It's quite big hills and um, obstructions as well. It's not very wide, is it? No. End of the road, get me to turn left. Okay, when we reach the end of this road, Jen, we're going to turn left. And what I would like to do when we get to the end is can we just pause because as we set off, I want to sort out that clutch and right. make sure that we're setting off nice and smoothly. Okay. Because it's really important for our turning the road and so that right. we can do that. Yeah, sure. So as you come to a stop, you notice it's a little bit downhill. Yeah. So this should be easier to move off smoothly. How right. are you going to move off from this position with it being on a hill? Um, just ease off my brake and then bring your yeah. clutch up. And bring your clutch up nice and gently so it's not... Not jerky. It's not jerky, yeah. yeah. So take your time bringing your clutch up all the way through. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. And how about this road? Do you think this road would be suitable yeah. for turning the road? Yeah. Just ask me to pull up after this last park car. Okay, so if we pull up on the left after the last park car there, pull up somewhere okay. suitable. And we've signalled there. Is there anybody about to signal to? Um, well, there's that lad on the bike There's a lad on the bike, yeah. And if that lad wasn't there and there was no one else about... Yeah, well, I wouldn't have needed to then. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, well then you can turn off if you like. Um, to you. So we've, su we've chosen somewhere that's suitable for the turning the road exercise. Yeah. It's a little bit wider this road than the previous road, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's fairly quiet. Yeah. We have got the junction at the end, so we'll have to be aware of any cars turning in. Right. And uh, what do you think, feel about the gradient? Is it flat? Uh, no, it's slightly up, slightly, slightly uphill. uphill. It, yeah. So that's going to affect us as well, slightly. But it's not too far uphill, but it's a quiet road. And the, the whole purpose of this exercise is if you take a wrong turn, hmm. are you going the wrong way? Yeah. It's being able to choose somewhere suitable so you can turn round right. and go back the other way. Yeah, so if you're on the road at the end, it looks a bit busy, doesn't it? So the best bit, thing yeah. would be to turn into a road like this, do the turn in the road, and then you could go. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through how to do this turn in the road exercise. Right. When you're moving off from stationary, is there any particular routine that you use? Um, the POM. Okay, and what does POM stand for? Prepare, observe, move. Okay, excellent. We're going to be using that today. Right, okay. So this is our start position where we're at now. Okay. And we're going to be using this POM routine. So the first thing we do, because the first stage is going to be forward, 
is we're going to select first gear. Okay. Then we're going to bring our clutch to the right. Yeah. We probably won't need much gas with it being diesel, but with it being slightly uphill, if we just use a, a tiny bit right. of gas. Okay. If it was flat, probably get away with not using any. And yeah. that means it'll help it keep slower as well. But right. we'll use a little bit because it's slightly uphill. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, do, going to do our observation. So we're going to look all the way round. And why is it important to look all the way round, do you think, before we move away? To see what's around. Okay. So looking around now. There's yeah. a pavement on the right hand side, so we'll yeah. be looking all the way down. Make like sure there's no gateway into there, isn't there? Yeah, so there's a gateway yeah, there that you can't see most. So we'd be looking at that. Yeah. We'd be looking forward and in this, um, make sure there's nothing coming out of this car park on the left. Yeah. And we'd be looking down the left hand side of the car and over our left right, shoulder. It's everywhere then, really, so it, yeah. all the way around. Okay. Then we can move when, when we've decided it's safe. Okay. So we'll release the handbrake, mm -hmm. we'll bring the clutch up. That thickness of a pound coin, so only a fraction from that biting point, right, yeah. and the cow will start to move. Right. As soon as it moves, we're going to get all our right lock on as quickly as possible and use the biggest chunks of the wheel you can. So, right. you least movements with the wheel, yeah. big chunks, you'll get it right. on really quick. So, really quick with the steering, yeah. slow with the car. Okay. And what will happen is the cow will go over to this direction. Right. About a metre from the curb, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare for the next stage by taking that lock off and steering to the left as much as we can right. before we come to a stop just before we reach the kerb. Okay. Then we'll, we'll decide if we need to secure it. Now some roads have got what's called a camber, if you look at this diagram here, and it's where it dips at the sides for drainage. Oh, right. okay, so the water runs off to the sides and down oh, the drains. Right, yeah. So what we might find is that as we finish at the end of stage one, hmm. we're on a little bit of a hill, so we'll need the, hand, the handbrake so we don't roll forward when we release the foot brake. Right. So we decide if we need the handbrake, and we're going to do the POM again. This time we'll select reverse gear, we'll yeah. get our bike, maybe a bit of gas because it's, it's going to be uphill slightly, Yeah. coming back. So a little bit of gas, clutch to bite, and yeah. we're going to check all the way around again. Right. And then we're going to be looking over your left shoulder, the way that you're going. So we can see if anybody's coming down the pavement or any cars coming, we'll be aware of them. Okay. When we're about halfway across, you'll find that this corner your right hand back corner will yeah. be the one that's closest to the kerb so we're going to switch to look in that way um, we so we can yeah. see how close we get into the kerb yep. now if we haven't managed to get all our left on at the end of the first stage we're going to continue to put that on as we come back so we're getting all our left lock on while we're doing this stage and again when we're about a meter from the kerb we're going to start planning for the next stage by taking that lock off and yeah. staring to the right Okay. and that will turn our wheels to the right Right. We'll again stop just before we reach the kerb, mm -hmm. we'll use the handbrake if it's needed and we'll do the POM again, so we'll select first gear this time, ready to move forward. Yeah. We'll do our all-round observations and make sure it's safe to continue and then right. we'll release our handbrake and drive forwards. We've right. already got some right on, yeah. so we'll put on as much right as we need to get round to the right. other side. We'll be pulling up so we can talk about it, but when you do this manoeuvre after you've passed your test, if you're yeah. using it for turning around, you would just drive on at this point. Yeah. So it's important that we check our mirrors and make sure right. we know what's going on behind us before we get yeah. the speed. Okay? okay, yeah. Now the other thing is, cars might come while we're doing this. I was just about to ask that, yeah. Right, I'm okay. I'm worried about that. Well, you'll find that if we get eye contact with them and we can assess what they're doing, hmm. it'll put you at ease a little bit. Okay. So. If there's a car coming and we get eye contact and they've slowed down and they've stopped and they look happy to wait, then we'll carry on. It might be that if we're in the middle of one of the stages, as we get closer to the kerb, this will open more space either behind mm -hmm. or in front of us. Right. I'm with so you. you might find that they want to start moving then. So it's important that we keep up to date right. with what they're yeah, doing. What's going on? Okay. So that if they do change their minds and they start to move through, yeah. we can just stop and allow them right. to do that. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right, so when you're ready, yep. would you like to start up? Okay. 